Hey Pisces, Yana Speaks here, and in this video, we are doing your March 2020 love reading. Now, I want to start off by saying that all of my readings are general, so they may or may not resonate with you because not every single Pisces is going through the same exact thing, all right? <clears throat> so, please tell me what is the overall energy for Pisces this month? Okay, so we're starting off with the Two of Cups. So the Two of Cups being your overall energy, I feel like you guys feel really in love this month. I feel like you feel like you're with someone that you're very compatible with. You're looking at this person like a soulmate, a life partner, someone that you can grow with, someone that you can build with, someone that you just really, really are romantically interested in, okay? You also have the Nine of Wands. So I feel like you and this person have been through a lot. I feel like you've had a lot of ups and downs. You fought a tough uh, battle with this person. This person may have hurt you, may have endured, you know, bumps and bruises along the way. But I feel like you're willing to fight for this. You have the courage to keep fighting. Um, I also feel like whatever problems you guys had in the past, you know, um, it looks like you're getting closer to completion. So it could be that you guys are deciding to move forward with each other. Or, you know, it could be you guys are deciding to walk away from the situation as well, even though you feel like this person is a soulmate. I'm going to know as I go deeper into the reading. But I feel like you you feel like you've been through a lot with this person, but, you know, you're you're not weak. You're very strong. You have a lot of courage to, to just keep fighting. Okay, we have the Nine of Cups here. So I feel like you are getting some type of wish fulfillment. Okay, let's see. Yeah, you're getting some type of wish fulfillment with this person. Okay. Um, you could be feeling like this person is a wish come true. I do feel like you guys are deciding to make it work. Okay. Because we do have the three of pentacles here. So it's like you guys are deciding to be a team player. You're deciding to come together. You're deciding to build together. You're deciding to see where things go. We also have death here. So this lets me know that... Your relationship with this person is going through a transformation. It's like you guys are deciding to put the past in the past, you know, out with the old and with the new, um, going about it in a different way. Um, I feel like some of you may have gone through your own spiritual transformation. Maybe you had an awakening. Maybe you realized things that you were doing wrong. This person realized things that they were doing wrong. But I feel like you guys have decided to make this work and i feel like this is a relationship that you're very proud of with the uh, six of wands here i'm also seeing some type of public recognition so it could be you guys showing it um your relationship on social media and people saying congratulations i'm happy for you um that's what i'm seeing here okay and i'm also seeing that you guys are really nurturing this connection as well okay now, the only thing I see here, though, is although you guys are deciding to make things work and, like, put things behind you and embracing, like, this new change, this out with the old, in with the new type of thing, I do see some type of conflict between you and this person where there will be some type of, um, like, there will be little bickering. There will be little debate. So, just be wary of that. I feel like, um... There's some type of truth you want to express to this person. So my advice would be to try to find um, better ways to communicate with this person, okay? So that it doesn't turn into a fight, all right? So I just want to see how this person is feeling about you. Okay, so this person is feeling really loved and nurtured by you as well. And I feel like this person is going to try their best to nurture this relationship the same way you are. But remember I talked about like you guys debating there being conflict between the both of you. 
you guys kind of going back and forth and bickering i see that this will be the problem right here I feel like you both have different love languages, right? I feel like this person's way of giving their love is by providing. Okay, so you're dealing with someone who's a provider. You're dealing with someone who is very career driven. They may own their own business. They may be a boss. They may be a manager at their job, or they're just like really, really career driven, right? And that is their main priority at this point. Money is everything to them. It does not mean that they don't love you, but money comes first. And I feel like this is the type of man that he makes sure that he shows his love to you by providing. That's how he feels like he's doing his job. And I feel like he is not the most emotional person. So that may cause conflict. That may be the truth that you want to express to this person. You may be thinking of new ideas to communicate with them, but you need to be careful with how you communicate with them because this person is not trying to upset you or hurt you. This is just how they show their love. We have the Six of Pentacles here as well. And like I said, we have the King of Pentacles here. So like I said, this person is very focused on finances and at times they can come off like that's all they care about. And I'm going to be real with you, finances is the most important thing to them, okay? It's not that you just take a backseat. Everyone takes a backseat to them because money is very important. But I'm seeing that this person wants equal give and take with you. And I'm actually seeing this person like offering you money and like providing for you. And maybe you guys have like shared bills together, but that's how they show their love. You know what I mean? Um, and I also feel like this person is very prideful. This person could be very popular. So they kind of feel like you make them, you know, look good. So you could be dealing with a man who like, you know, pays for you to get your hair done. Um, pays for your clothes, you know, pays for your nails to be done and likes to like show it off because this person does care about their image okay so you have to understand the type of person that you are dealing with but yes this person this person has a lot going on okay but you are still a priority you may not be top priority but this person does care about you okay it's just that money comes first Hey, that's how some people are, okay? So please tell me what advice do you have for the Pisces? See, they're coming out again. They're coming out as the King of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, and the Six of Wands. Yeah, it's just like Spirit is like, you need to understand who you're dealing with. This is how this person is. Money is the main priority to them. Their public image is the main thing that they care about. I really feel like you're dealing with someone who is really popular. Like they may have a large following on social media or people in your town um, know them. They're like the big man on the campus. Like, like I feel like they're that nigga, okay? And... That's what they care about. They do care about you too, though. Don't get it twisted. But money is their main priority. Okay? So that's how they show their love. You know, they provide for you financially. They provide stability. But they're not the most emotional. All right, Pisces, so I'm going to end this reading here. If you guys found it helpful, please go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Share it with someone else. Um, if you want to book a private reading with me, all the information to do that is in the description below. Um, if you want to check out the specials that I have, follow me on Instagram. I also have trainings, one-on-one -on -one coaching listed below. And I will see you guys in the next reading. Bye.